Hello, my name's Pat Cunningham and you're very welcome along to my video series uh, explaining equity release. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm Pat Cunningham, I'm 71 years of age and I hold the Certificate of Mortgage Advice Practice and a Certificate for Regulated Equity Release both issued by the London Institute of Banking and Finance so I am uh, qualified and able to speak about uh, equity release uh, which I'm quite passionate about and I'm, I, I'm very happy to be able to explain it because um, it has had some bad press I know in the last few years so um, I just want to try and explain it so that so we can clear up these uh, fallacies and these uh, myths that surround uh, the concept and to tell you exactly as it is. Now you'll get a lot of adverts with uh, pensioners on the beach or on cruises having great holidays and pictures of houses and big cars. Uh, all the sales talk about equity release, how good it is. And, but there's good bits and there's bad bits and I want to tell you warts and all how it is so you can decide yourself whether it could be for you, whether it may suit you to take some of the equity out of your property for whatever reason. So in these six videos, uh, hopefully I can do that and explain it to you. Okay, so let's start with what is equity. Uh, simply equity is the amount of money that's in the house or in the property after you take off the debt. So let's say the property is worth £250,000 and you had a £100,000 mortgage debt on it, then the bit that was left, £150,000, is the equity. So that's your bit. The £100,000 is the bank's bit, the £150,000 is your bit, so your bit is the equity. That is your equity in the property. So equity release is simply getting hold of the equity or part of the equity and using it for whatever reason. And you can spend it on anything you like. So that's what we're going to talk about explaining what is equity release. Now there's two main uh, equity release systems that we use. The first one is called a home reversion plan. Now a home reversion plan is where you would sell part or in fact all of your property to a, a plan provider. They would take possession of the property. That The property would be in their name. You would lose ownership of the property. But what you would have is an agreement to stay in the property rent free for the rest of your life. And there'd be no payments to make, you would get a sum of money for the property, maybe 50 or 60 percent of the value of the property, uh, and you can spend that as you wish. You don't pay it back, but when you die or you move into long term care, that property is the, the property of the lender and they will keep it. So it does have some drawbacks uh, in that, of course, you lose ownership of the property um, and, of course, then you lose any right to any future growth, any future value when the property increases in value because it won't be yours anymore. And the cash or the income that you get will not really represent the true value of the part of the property sold. It will only be a percentage of it. And of course, if you as the plan holder die uh, soon after signing up to one of these home reversion plans, you will have lost a significant asset uh, for little benefit, really. And of course, another thing we have to look at is that uh, that sum of money that comes in, uh, if it were to go into your bank account, uh, could result 
in having an effect on any rights you had to state benefits. So this is something to be considered. Of course, there are uh, you know benefits to uh, as as there are drawbacks. There's always benefits, and there's benefits as well uh, to the home reversion plan. Um, the first one is that, of course, you've got uh, your money. You can do exactly what you like with that. Um, there's no restrictions on how, how you can spend it. Um, and you can probably get more from a home reversion plan than you could from other types of equity release, which we'll cover later. And of course, the other benefit is, as I've said, no monthly payments are ever required. So you get the money, that's it. It's finished, um, and you are guaranteed. The big thing is you're guaranteed lifetime occupancy of the property. Um, another great thing is that, that there are no arguments. The future position is is certain in that uh, there's no interest to pay on the money. Uh, who owns what or how much is all set out at the beginning. So there's no arguments. It's all set at the start of the contract. So if you don't have uh, children or grandchildren to leave it to you just want to take as much money as you can out of your property then a home reversion plan may be for you now i've explained the home reversion plan really it only accounted for about one percent of all equity release in 2019 last year uh, people don't like them it used to be the thing um, and in fact it's probably what has given equity release a bad name, which we'll cover a little later. But uh, I have mentioned it. Uh, I won't mention it again because uh, people don't really become interested in a home reversion plan. So let's talk about lifetime mortgages. So a lifetime mortgage is just like an ordinary mortgage that we all know. Um, but unlike the home reversion plan, uh, you, the homeowner, retain ownership of the property. So exactly as it's always been with the mortgage. Now, a lifetime mortgage is uh, on an interest-only basis and it's on a fixed rate of interest. And that fixed rate of interest is there for the whole duration of the agreement. So it's a fixed rate and it compounds up with his interest, uh, which we'll speak about on my next uh, video. So, fixed interest, interest only for the duration of the uh, of the contract. Now, the big difference is with the lifetime mortgage. There's a you don't have to pay the capital back. There's an interest charge. Now you've got a choice. You can either pay the interest or not. Pay all of the interest as it becomes due, pay a part of it, a partial payment, or none at all. So a good deal. You get a mortgage, you don't have to pay it back. What gets better? But of course that interest will pile up if you like and it will have some effect probably on the equity in the house. So that's the choice you have. So. Um, have a look at the benefits of lifetime mortgages. Number one, of course, is that uh, the borrower retains ownership of the property. That's number one. It's still your home and the bank or the lender have a mortgage on it. The second great benefit is that uh, you get a tax-free sum that you can spend exactly as you wish. So the, the amount of money you get as from lifetime mortgages is tax free. And why is it tax free? Because it's a debt and you don't pay tax on a debt. So tax free sum, you go and spend it exactly as you like and as we've already said many of the plans uh, don't require any repayment whatsoever. So you can just go away, spend your money, lovely jubbly, all done. Of course, you are guaranteed lifetime occupancy. So you are there until you die or you move into long-term care. And if it's a couple or partners, then that uh, 
is the last one to die, the last one to move into long term care. So the occupancy of the house is absolutely guaranteed. And the other great thing is that there may well be some equity left in the property uh, when you die or move into long term care or even move away. So there, there may well be equity left that you can leave to uh, your, your family, your children, your grandchildren, whatever it is. So um, all the equity will not be usurped by the interest. So there's the uh, benefits of uh, lifetime mortgage. Um, of course, there are drawbacks, the bad bits. There's good bits and bad bits of everything. And of course, uh, one of the drawbacks is that the amount raised uh, will be a relatively low proportion of the value of the property, particularly if you're a younger borrower from 55 up to 60, that sort of age. Um, the older you are when you borrow, the bigger percentage of the property you can get. So um, the amount, that doesn't think you can get loads out of this, you know, uh, it's up to sort of 55%. So the amount you borrow is a relatively low proportion uh, of the uh, of the value. And the other thing is that the debt may roll up uh, quite quickly. You don't have any control over the uh, speed of the roll up where this interest is rolling up every month on top and on top and on top again. Although the uh, interest rate will be the same, the payments will be more because the interest will be paying on a, on a larger sum. And so you don't have any control of that, um, unless of course you chose to pay off the interest on a regular basis or at least partially uh, pay them off. So um, no control over the effects of compound interest. Now compound interest is what I'm going to speak about on the next video. Uh, it's a very important thing to take into consideration with uh, equity release. Um, and of course, again, income that you might get from uh, equity release, um, if you were to put that in the bank, yet again, uh, it could well have an effect on any uh, state benefits that you might be claiming because if it was put in the bank, then they class that as your savings. So. We've talked now today about home reversion plans where you're selling the property basically or a lifetime mortgage where you're taking a mortgage the uh, same as any other mortgage. So that's, that's the two plans that you can have. Um, that's about it that I'm going to cover today except to say uh, a message for the naysayers and the, these people who shout and scream about uh, equity release. Uh, so let's do some myth busting today. Myth buster number one is that, oh, you're giving your house away. They take your house. They don't take your house, they being the lenders, they don't take your house. They will take your house if you give it to them. If you have a home reversion plan and you sell your house to them, yes, they will take it because you're selling it to them. But if, it's a, if it's a lifetime mortgage, you still retain ownership of your house. Exactly the same as every other mortgage there is around the country. The people still own their house. So when they say, oh, they're taking your house, they're taking the house, tell them, no, they're not taking our house. We're simply taking out a mortgage on the house. So let's get rid of that myth straight away. Okay, now you can uh, have a look at my blog. Uh, I'll put the uh, address at the bottom here. Have a look at my blog. It explains all about uh, equity release. So you can have a look through there. And of course, you can always telephone me. I'm happy for people to, to call me. My number's at the bottom here now. I'll leave it up there for a while. Please give me a call. Uh, you'll find it on an answer phone. Um, so give us a call. Leave a message on the answer phone. I will get back to you. If you've got any questions, anything you want to clear up about equity release, I'll be delighted to go through it with you so that it can be clear. And uh, I'll see you on our next video, which is all about compound interest. Bye.